This is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before you get into the workout, check out our Instagram post for the warm up. Make sure you're getting ready for the workout by increasing your heart rate and increasing your body temperature. It's starting to sweat a little bit before you get into it. Today for the strength portion, we are going to do work on our overhead squat position. So we're going to maintain a overhead position with one arm. The other arm is going to provide us a little bit of balance, a little bit of countering there uh, as we go down into our squat with tempo. So the tempo we're going to be doing today is three seconds down, hold for two seconds in the bottom position while maintaining good posture, and then stand up quickly with that X, uh, with that explode, and then one second on top for a breather. So what this is going to be like, we're going to do uh, five sets of four per side. You're going to take the weight, take your dumbbell, you're going to get it overhead. Either you're going to do a clean and jerk or you do a snatch. I'm going to do a snatch, take the weight from the floor into an overhead position, one smooth move. So snatch it overhead, maintain this position. So I am setting my shoulder, finding a good uh, squat stance. And I'm actually gonna have my ha this arm out in front of me to provide a little bit of counterbalance as I put my hips back and then go down with tempo. So three seconds down, one, two, three. Hold for two seconds at the bottom, one, two, and then stand it fast. What's tough about this position is that one, we're a little bit off balance. So we actually have to have a little bit of a twist in our torso, uh, or some of you might have to. Some might be able to keep it fairly upright. So we may find that we start twisting a little bit in our torso. So as I look at me from the front view, as I go down, you might see this hand start here. Maybe it moves out into the center as I have to kind of rotate my torso to stay in this position. So three seconds down, one, two, three. Notice how I'm turning in a little bit and then stand up out of that. So you're gonna do that as four sets, four reps per side each set. That'll be a total of five sets. Once you're done working on the overhead squat, again, I will kind of back up. Only go so low as far as distance wise, only go so low as you can maintain that position. So if I'm going down and I start to collapse a little bit, I'm not gonna go that low. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit and maintain uh, uh, depth that I can maintain posture. Once we're done, the strength portion, you're gonna move into the Metcon. We have rep rounds for time, moving uh, from one to 10 reps in the V-ups, and then you're pairing that with 10 to one reps of the dumbbell power clean. So what that's gonna look like in round one, you do one V-up, and then you do 10 dumbbell power cleans. In round two, two V-ups to nine dumbbell power cleans. It'll help if you write this out as one in 10, two in nine, uh, three and eight, and so on and so forth. At five and six, and six and five, that's gonna be the middle where there's a bit of a cross pattern there with those numbers. Uh, and then working your way down to one, uh, 10 V-ups and one dumbbell power clean. Again, write those out so you don't get confused, so you don't lose track of where you are, or you don't uh, miscount. It will happen if you don't write it out. Uh, most likely. So what the those movements are going to look like, V up, laying on the floor, feet are heels on the floor, arms are overhead. I'm going to press my low back into the floor and maintain that low back engagement with the floor the entire time. I'm going to bring my, my shoulders forward, head up, bring my hands out in front of me, and I'm going to bring my feet out to meet my hands in front of my body. So these are the V ups. Remember, round one, you only do one of those. In round 10, you're doing 10 of those. Pair those up with the dumbbell power cleans. Dumbbells start on the floor. When you pick them up, you actually only need to have one end of the dumbbell touching the floor. If I had both ends here, I'm in a really crouched over position. This isn't a good position to be in. I want to get into a better clean position. So I'm gonna bring, lift, up the dump, lift up the back end of the dumbbells, drop my hips and bring my chest up and eyes up. So I'm gonna pull my the dumbbells from the floor like this, stand up, almost like a jumping action, pushing my feet through the floor, hard, fast stand up, catch the dumbbells on my shoulders and stand up from there, Get catching in a quarter squat position. If I look from the side, watch my back position, in the first round, you're doing 10 of those, 
in the last round, you're only doing one uh, rep to finish off the workout. Your score is the total time it takes you to work from one in 10 to 10 in one of the V-ups and those dumbbell power cleans. Get after it and have fun.